Hey guys, Eretius here, Air for short. Today I'm going to summon the Light Pirate Captain. He was a Hall of Heroes many, 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 many months ago. I'm guessing about six months ago, almost. And I just haven't summoned him yet. I haven't had any real need for the monster. But uh, I'm sure some of you out there do have a need for him and would love to know how to rune him. So I'm going to summon him, and I'm going to discuss the runes and the possibilities for him. Now keep in mind that these are just suggestions. You don't need to follow them if you don't want to, but also leave any suggestions of your own in the comment section below if I don't suggest something that you think might work for this monster. Um, yeah, so let's summon him. Five, six, seven, eight, summon. No lightning. Um, yeah, so there he is. He's a pretty cool looking guy. Cool dude. Four star light monster, and he is an attack type. And his skills are backspin slash swiftly attacks an enemy and weakens its, its defense for one turn with a 75% chance. When this skill is maxed out, I'm pretty sure that goes to a 100% proc rate, which is really awesome. Defense is only weakened for one turn, so you have to choose wisely. But nonetheless, breaking defense can definitely turn the tables in a battle. Then we've got Pirate Strike, deals a powerful attack to an enemy and absorbs 30% of its attack bar. So that's a 100% proc rate, which means it goes straight to the resistance versus accuracy, and it absorbs 30% of the attack bar, which means he gets a 30% boost and the enemy is lowered by 30%. So that's not bad. And he starts out with a leadership skill, the accuracy of monsters by 40% in a guild battle. So that's not too bad. Accuracy is useful if you need lots of debuffs. For instance, if you're using a Wind Ifrit um, and you have him partnered up with monsters that do a lot of debuffing so that his third skill will do a crazy amount of damage, I suppose accuracy would be a great leadership ability. So, yeah, let's take a look at what he gets when he's awakened. <clears throat> he gets his third skill, Disarm. Attacks an enemy target and decreases its attack power and defense while preventing the target from receiving beneficial effects for two turns with a 75% chance. So he attacks one monster, but inflicts quite a bit of debuffing here. So attack power lowered, defense lowered, and... He can't, uh, that monster can't receive any benefits, so any of those little blue benefits that hang above monsters. So it looks like accuracy is important. He is an attack type, so you want attack power. So you're looking at potentially putting a set of focus runes on him, um, because each one of his skills has the ability to debuff. And they're all single targets, so you're going to probably want him... I mean, you could do a crazy attack, like make him crazy attack uh, power. Wow, English. Uh, you could go Rage Blade with attack percentage on 2, crit damage on 4, and attack percentage on 6. And then crit rate substats. And then also look for accuracy substats. That's if you want to ruin him as an attack monster. He is a light monster, so it's not a bad idea. Light monsters are able to attack any monster without the risk of glancing hits. So... That's one way to rune him. Um, if you don't have rage runes, you can supplement with those with fatal runes, but it's not it's not as great. Um, you could go fatal blade with attack percentage on two, crit damage on four, attack percentage on six with crit rate substats. Now, if you want to do a combination, you can do fatal focus. That way you get some more accuracy in there. And then same thing, attack percentage on 2, crit damage on 4, attack percentage on 6, with crit rate substats. If you can't get crit rate substats, then put attack percentage on 4. Now, let's see. Absorbing the attack power gives them a speed boost, lowers the defense, and yeah. So... You could use him strategically with this first skill. It basically ruins a monster. Um, 
by lowering its attack power and defense makes him very vulnerable and then can't get any beneficial effects, so Chloe would be useless. So if you really want to use him strategically, you could give him swift runes with speed on 2 and then attack percentage on 4 and attack percentage on 6. If you do that, I will go swift focus because like basically what you could do is you could get this skill off before a Chloe potentially on maybe a Lucian or some big nuking monster and then when she goes to use her third skill it won't work because he he uh, can't receive any beneficial effects so that Lucian would be first of all weakened with attack power and weakened by defense so you could take him out pretty easily so that's a great idea especially in guild battles which his leadership is four. You only get three monsters, so you take out their main attacker, and that's pretty good. So you could go swift focus, and then um, accuracy substats as well as attack percentage substats, and uh, speed on two, attack percentage on four, and attack percentage on six. That's one idea. I don't recommend despair, only because he hits single targets. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else you could do. Vampire wouldn't be great. Violent is always good on almost any monster, so you could definitely go violent with him. Um, yeah. Revenge runes, potentially. You could give him revenge runes. He does have a great first skill. If he does hit back, he'll uh, potentially break the defense of whatever monster attacked him. So you could spread that debuff around. So you could go Swift Revenge, Fatal Revenge, Violent Revenge. Yeah. So those are my suggestions with this monster. Uh, you could go the Rage Blade, Fatal Blade, Fatal Revenge, Fatal Focus, um, Swift Focused, Swift Revenge. If you want to go Swift Blade, that's also an option just for more attack power. But uh, if you go swift, you really want a lot of accuracy. So, yeah, accuracy substats, attack percentage substats, and um, he could be pretty useful. So those are my suggestions. Till next time, peace.